and action. be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing in them to die, to sleep no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation, devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. Who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merits the unworthy takes when he himself might in his quietus make with a bare bodkin. Who would fargles bear to grunt and spurn wet under a weary life. But that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country, from whose born no travelers return, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to those we know not of. Thus, conscience makes cowards of us all. And thus, the native hue of resolution is sickled o'er with the pale cast of thought. And the enterprise of great pith and moment. In this regard, their currents turn awry and lose the name of action.